Hello everyone, and welcome back to another part of Undertale. In this episode, we're immediately going to start off by backtracking. As it turns out, there was something I passed up in the last episode, when I said we're probably not going to miss anything if we don't explore here. Well, it turns out there was. So yeah, in this one hole, if we look, we find a faded ribbon. And it turns out that this is kind of like an equipment item, which I guess you put around your head. Basically a piece of armor. It doesn't really say so, but I'm assuming that increases our defenses a little bit. Alright, now that we have that one item, let's go inside the house and see what awaits us. Do I smell what? Is it something you're cooking? Oh, a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I'm completely taken by surprise by this. Well, I, I guess you just combine both ideas into one, which is... That's a novel idea, I'll give you that much. Sure, that's pretty cool. That's really kind of you to welcome me here like that. Wait, the, the snail pie? Um, alright, it's probably best if I don't ask, right? Okay, let me take a look. I'm right behind you. This is it, this is what? A room of my own? Well, that's, uh, that's mighty kind of you. Oh, I hope it's not the pie. Well, I guess I'll just look around then. Some kind of plant, but we don't know its name. I mean, it's nice that you gave me a little room in your house to uh, stay the night, I guess, but... You really didn't have to go through all the trouble for me. I guess we'll take a look at her diary even though we just got into her house, and probably isn't the kindest thing to do, but whatever. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... Bonely. Yes, very, very bonely. The the jokes are all of a similar caliber. Well, pardon me if I... Oh, hold on a second. I didn't want to read that again. No, thank you. I'm quite content with just that knowledge. A bucket of snails. I, I hope they're not for the pie. Poor snails. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Could it be a queen-sized bed, I wonder? It's a pretty flower on top. Oh, an encyclopedia on plants that grow underground. Taifa. Well, they're, they're also known as water sausages. Okay. Sounds fantastic. What's in her drawers? Peek inside. Scandalous. Oh no, it's her underwear drawer. Or, or it's just her sock drawer. Okay, never mind. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. A cactus. The most sundere of plants. Well, if you say so, I guess. Never really thought of it that way. Flower seeds and broken crayons. Broken crayons for what? It's kind of weird. Have there been kids living here before? It's you! We always look so... So blank-faced. There's no emotion on that face showing. It's a water sausage. Okay, so that's what they look like, I guess. It's good to know. May have to look after them in the future. I guess I'll take a look to see where her kitchen is. You can wander downstairs, but I'm not sure it's down there. An old calendar from the year 2001X. I guess we couldn't decide on what the year was exactly. Hello there. How's it going, Toriel? The pie hasn't, hasn't cooled down yet. No, it's not necessary. Yeah, why not? How are things going with you? Well, I'm glad to be here. It's been a nice little visit. So many old books I want to share. You do have quite the rack there. Uh, I'll have to take a look at them sometime. Favorite bug hunting spot. Okay, sounds pretty cool. Y you've also prepared a curriculum for education? Well, I mean... I can't say you're not very thoughtful, it's just... I didn't know I would be spending that much time down here that I need a whole curriculum for my education. Seems like we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves, but, um, sure. You always wanted to be a teacher. Have you also always wanted to be a parent as well? Because it kind of seems that way from uh, my perspective here. I really do appreciate all the length you've gone to here, it's just kind of a bit odd. 
when can I go home? I don't know. I kind of don't want to say anything yet. I don't want to get her upset at me. I mean, for all I know, this could actually get very dark very quickly. She's actually kidnapping children and keeping them locked up at her house. How messed up would that be? So this is more about the stuff they talked about at the beginning of the game with the monsters and how they're trapped underground. Beyond some kind of barrier? I suppose she's one of the monsters. I mean, everything we've walked into so far has been kind of a bit abnormal since we fell down here. So I suppose we're in the monster world. Home. As great as your king is, he's pretty lousy at names. He just called it home. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. I'm all for safety and everything, but doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of the tools then? If they're filed down. Maybe just a little bit, you can just get rid of them entirely. For some reason there's brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. That's weird. Has she gone shopping in the human world? Some white fur stuck in the drain, that's it's kind of nasty actually. Ew. Just like a bunch of hairs in the drain. Inside the cupboards are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Not gingerbread men, gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. It's too hot to eat though. I'll we'll have to wait a little bit. Stove top is very clean. She must use fire magic instead. So she doesn't even use the stove? Just uses fire magic. I guess that's possible. If you're a monster, you can do that sort of thing. Should I take a look downstairs? I guess so. I kind of feel bad exploring her house like this without her permission, but... It's actually kind of... Whoa! She scared the shit out of me, I have to admit. <laughs> um, we should play upstairs instead. That's kind of creepy. Actually, that's very creepy. I think my heart jumped a bit there. What is supposed to be in the basement? Uh, that's her room. What's in this locked door, I wonder? I'm suspicious. I'm kind of getting a bit worried now. Things aren't as they seem, maybe. So I, I guess I'm supposed to take a nap in the bed? I kind of avoided the this room for a reason, but... Huh. We have a light we could turn off in it. I really have to say, I do like the music in this game a lot. It reminds me of, like, Chrono Trigger or something like that. It's really a sweet kind of music. A box of kid shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, well, that's... That's even more disturbing now. <laughs> Why does she have a bunch of different kid shoes in this room? Oh man, we're gonna end up in a pie or something. Empty photo frame, it's really dusty. Can't check the cupboard. It's in here. Cool toys, but they don't interest me at all. I could probably go to sleep. I want to talk to her again though. I want to see what happens if I say that I want to go home. It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Oh, alright, sure. Tell me about the book. They flip their digestive systems as they mature. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. Oh, um, I guess that's it. I guess, I don't know. I'll just take a nap and see what happens. Maybe it'll advance time. I'm not sure if I want to advance time or if I want to try to get as much to happen as possible before we go into the next segment. I'm not quite sure how to do that at this point. Ooh, it's a piece of pie. How kind of her. She's a kind old goat mother. She's still in the same spot? Yeah, she is. I don't know. Like, it seems so innocent, but then I got a bad feeling about it as well. It intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Nothing else new here? Yeah, this is all the same. Alright, I guess we have to bring up going home and see what happens. If we say nothing again. Is that it? Yeah, we have to bring it up. Alright, let's see. Hopefully this doesn't take a disturbing twist. You have to do something. Eh, 
let's follow her, see what happens. Where did she go? Oh, you know what, I'm, surprised, I'm probably supposed to go in the basement. When she's distracted. Right? That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Because we could go out through the front door, but she's probably... in the basement. Let's see what she's doing. Alright, this might get creepy. Or will she just... Oh, there she is. Oh, man. Well, yeah, I do have a home of my own. The end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. Why is it one way? You're gonna destroy it. But. Wait, no. How am I supposed to get out? That doesn't sound very good. Why do you say it like that? The same fate. What's the same fate? They come, they leave, and they die. Asgore? Who the hell is Asgore? Oh no, I don't like this very much at all. My final warning, I have to stop you. I can't stay down here forever, I have a life of my own. I mean, this has been nice and all, I just... Can't stay here forever, just like the others. What others? I knew there was going to be something dark to this. One solution to end this. Prove myself? As what? Strong enough? In combat, you mean? Oh yeah, here we go. She's blocking the way. So can we still talk her down from this? I couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, man, this is a fire attack. Oh, wow, they're, they're all settling down at the bottom. Alright. What does checking do? She is really, really strong. And has a ton of fire. Whoa. Okay. This isn't going good. Now, talking didn't do anything. But, I do remember, I think it was one of the frogs mentioned, at some point you have to spare someone without using, without it being yellow, so maybe you're supposed to do it now? Well, it did something. It didn't quite solve our situation. Oh, I went too low. Oh no, this isn't going good. Just, just go away, please, Toriel. Oh man. No, it's actually getting worse now. Oh wow, we're gonna get killed here. She's looking through us. Please leave me alone. Whoa! Oh wow. Whoa! She's acting all aloof. What's going on here? Just please let me be. Whoa! Oh no! We're gonna get killed here on this fight. We're barely surviving. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to spare you! Oh, whoa! Oh man. She takes a deep breath. We're probably gonna die here. Please, just, just leave. Attack her, run away. Uh. Whoa. Okay, so she doesn't kill you. If you get low health. I'm proving that you can't kill me. So you're not even trying anymore. That's cool. No, I'm not gonna fight you. The whole point of this game is to not fight. I know you can't... I know there's a way that you can do this game without killing anyone, so... Obviously there's some method to it. So you just have to do this multiple times? Okay. Yeah, she, she's not even coming anywhere close to me. Please, just, just end this now. You don't need to do this! No one needs to get hurt. There's some other thing I have to do, though. I mean, this worked so far, but now it's not doing anything else. She repairs a magical attack. No, please, don't. 
I mean, I think I got the point of the fight, but it doesn't seem to be ending. Maybe you have to talk to her now? I don't know. Oh, there we go. I think it's over anyway. Yeah, we do want to go home, and I know it's not going to be easy, but... Spare. I know you would, but... We have to live our own lives. I mean, you're a good person, or... Goat, or whatever you are, but... I have my own life to have to get back to. I can't. I have to move on. You saved us. You took care of us when we were all alone and saved us from the flower. So, that was enough. Let me do the rest. Exactly. We have a life in the overworld. All we have to get back to. Thank you, Toriel. I can't come back, can I? I guess I understand, but I'll miss you. You're the best goat mother I ever had. Goodbye, Toriel. Could we still call you sometime? Alright. Going down the long hallway. What are we gonna find in this underground? Will it be a way out, or... Will it be an untimely end? I don't know. But it's up to us. Oh, well, not you again. Well, not especially, just... I'm smarter than you, I guess. Is it? Well, we seem to manage to do it without it. More than just a single person. One, it was a goat. And two, there were frogs and other things we spared as well. Well, no, I still feel a little sad, but... This time... Well... I don't know. You mean like you? No, I think we'll manage without it. Why would I let you inherit the power to control it? The prince of this world's future, I doubt that very much. My little monarch. Well, I don't like what this... Ugh, what a creeper. I don't like this guy very much. Not at all.